Hello learners, today I will discuss traditional to modern approaches of teaching as per National Education Policy 2020. So, what is National Education Policy? It was approved by Union Cabinet of India 29th July 2020. It outlines the vision of India's new education system. And this policy replaced the previous national policy on education 1986 and the policy aims to transform India's education system by 2040. <clears throat> what about new education policy or national education policy? Uh, India called as from ancient period India called as center of knowledge and education is the integral part of the country. Now time to enhancing the quality of education through new framework that is national education policy 2020 a dynamic change in national education policy after long period of education journey new implementation will be imparting the innovation in year 2022 according to government of india nep 2020 wanted to change the structure syllabus curriculum co-curriculum pattern to focus on learner and its main purpose to change the education policy to inculcating the knowledge in students for enhancing qualities. NEP 2020 wants to change the old education pattern and reform the structure of NEP 2020. It draft discuss to reduce the weightage of curriculum and enhances the teaching learning process with new concept, holistic, experiential, discussion based analysis based activity based learning and two new policy enhances the learning process with learner teacher learner interaction and uh, what is the vision of this new education national education policy 2020 knowledge empowers you uh, this uh, national education policy envisions an education system rooted in indian ethos contributes directly to transforming india that is bharat sustainably into an equitable and vibrant knowledge society by providing high quality education to all and thereby making India a global knowledge superpower. NEP 2020 needs to create broad reform in education for all citizens who protect, respect, love, care, defense our country with this fruitful knowledge and talent. And what are its fundamental principles of new education policy, national education policy 2020? Uh, recognizing, identifying, identifying and fostering the unique capabilities of each student. Flexibility. And the important thing is no hard separations between arts and science, between curricular and extracurricular activities, between vocational and academic stream, etc. Uh, this national education policy 2020, it it is multidisciplinary and a holistic education system. It emphasizes on conceptual understanding, creativity and critical thinking. It promotes multilingualism and the power of language in teaching and learning. It also includes life skills such as communication, cooperation, teamwork and resilience. And it focuses on regular formative assessment for learning. It uses extensive use of technology in teaching and learning. It respect for diversity and respect for the local context. Full equi equity and inclusion also included in this NEP 2020. Synergy in curriculum across all levels of education. Teachers and faculty at the heart of the learning process in this policy. A light but tight. A light, light system but tight regulatory framework to ensure integrity, transparency and resource efficiency of the educational system through audit and public disclosure while encouraging innovation and out of the box ideas through autonomy good governance and empowerment outstanding research uh, rootedness and pride in india these are the fundamental principles of national education policy 2020 and uh, what is national education policy it is distributed in different categories that is school education higher education other key areas of focus and making it happen so first of all we will discuss what is school education the 10 plus 2 structure in school education will be modified with a new pedagogical and curricular restructuring of 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 covering ages 3 to 18 and now currently children in the age group of 3 to 6 are not covered in the 
टेन प्लस टू स्ट्रक्चर एज क्लास टेन प्लस टू स्ट्रक्चर एज क्लास वन बिगिन एट एज वन एंड नाउ इन द न्यू फाइव प्लस थ्री प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर स्ट्रक्चर अ स्ट्रेंग स्ट्रॉन्ग बेस ऑफ अर्ली चाइल्डहुड केयर एंड एजुकेशन फ्रॉम एज थ्री इज ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर प्रीवियस एंड दिस इज द न्यू पैडोलॉजिकल एंड करिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर फॉर स्कूल एजुकेशन दिस इज प्रीवियस टू फ्रॉम देयर फ्रॉम सिक्स एजेस जीरो टू सिक्स जो जीरो टू सिक्स एज के स्टूडेंट्स हैं नाउ देर इज फंडा फाउंडेशनल टू ईयर्स कॉर्स जिसमें पहले जो एजेस सिक्स टू एट हैं थ्री ईयर्स आंगनबाड़ी प्री स्कूल बाल वाटिका जो फाइव ईयर्स हैं एंड टू ईयर्स फ्रॉम क्लास वन एंड टू एज सिक्स टू एट नेक्स्ट लेवल इज प्रिपेटरी क्लास थ्री थ्री ईयर्स का है क्लास थ्री टू फाइव एज इज एट टू इलेवन मिडल सिक्स टू एट एज इज इलेवन टू फोर्टीन और सेकेंडरी लेवल दैट इज फोर क्लास नाइन टू ट्वेल्व एज इज फोर्टीन टू एटीन दिस इज द न्यू पेडोलॉजिकल एंड करिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर अकॉर्डिंग टू नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी दिस इज ऑल अबाउट स्कूल एजुकेशन दिस फाउंडेशनल फाइव ईयर्स दिस इंक्लूड प्री स्कूल ग्रेड्स वन एंड टू प्रिपेटरी थ्री ईयर्स ग्रेड थ्री फोर एंड फाइव मिडल थ्री ईयर्स सिक्स सेवन एट सेकेंडरी फोर ईयर्स नाइन टेन इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व दिस इज द न्यू पेडोलॉजिकल एंड करिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्कूल एजुकेशन एंड इन एन ई पी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी देर इज नो हार्ड सेपरेशन ऑफ स्ट्रीम फॉर स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट्स विल बी गिवन इंक्रीज फ्लैक्सीबिलिटी एंड चॉइस ऑफ सब्जेक्ट टू स्टडी पार्टिकुलरली इन सेकेंडरी लेवल इंक्लूडिंग टू सब्जेक्ट्स इन फिजिकल एजुकेशन द आर्ट्स एंड क्राफ्ट एंड वोकेशनल स्किल्स देर विल बी नो हार्ड सेपरेशन अमंग करिकुलर एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एंड को करिकुलर अमंग आर्ट्स ह्यूमैनिटीज एंड साइंसिस और बिटवीन वोकेशनल और अकेडमिक स्ट्रीम सब्जेक्ट सच एज फिजिकल एजुकेशन आर्ट्स एंड क्राफ्ट वोकेशनल स्किल्स इन एडिशन टू साइंस ह्यूमैनिटीज मैथमेटिक्स विल बी इनकर Each of the four stages of school education may consider moving towards a semester or any other system that allows the inclusion of shorter modules. And it, in this uh, national education policy 2020, medium of instructions will be local, regional, rank basis. Wherever possible, the medium of instruction until at least grade five, but preferably till grade eight and beyond, it will be the home language, mother language. लोकल लैंग्वेज रीजनल लैंग्वेज बैगलेस डेज एंड करेज इन एन ई पी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी बैगलेस डेज विल बी एनकरेज थ्रू आउट द ईयर फॉर वेरियस टाइप ऑफ इनरिचमेंट एक्टिविटीज इन्वॉल्विंग आर्ट्स क्विजेज स्पोर्ट्स वोकेशनल क्राफ्ट एंड दिस इज ऑल अबाउट स्कूल एजुकेशन नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट हायर एजुकेशन इन हायर एजुकेशन क्वालिटी यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड कॉलेजेस अ न्यू एंड फॉरवर्ड लुकिंग विजन फॉर इंडियाज हायर एजुकेशन सिस्टम institutional restructuring and cons- consolidation towards a more holistic and multidisciplinary education optimum learning environment and support for students motivated energized and capable faculty equity and inclusion in higher education teachers education quality academic research in all fields through a new national research foundation transforming the regulatory system of higher education and effective governance and leadership for higher education institutions This is all about higher education. Now, the new edu- national education policy 2020 curriculum content to be reduced. Uh, and and IOS open schools to offer courses for grade three, five, and eight. These are also a part of national education policy 2020. And in higher education quality. Higher education aims to develop good, thoughtful, well-rounded, and creative individuals. Must form a basis for knowledge creation and innovation. Purpose of quality higher education is to create of greater opportunities for individual employment. Re-energizing the higher education through multidisciplinary universities and colleges, undergraduate education, faculty, and institutional autonomy. And there are three types of higher education institutions research universities teaching universities and autonomous colleges and uh, multi multidisciplinary education and research universities model come to in this 
policy public universities for holistic and multidisciplinary education at par with iits and iims and uh, what is the structure of higher education degree program for years duration certificate after completing one year diploma after completing two year multidisciplinary bachelor's degree after four years master degree one or two year two year with three year bachelor's degree one year with four year bachelor's degree or honors degree integrated five years bachelor master degree and phd master degree or four year bachelor degree and mphil program is discontinued and a multiple entry and exit program aims at 50% gross enrollment ratio by 2035 uh, there will be multiple entry and exit options for those who wish to leave the course in the middle their credits will be transferred through academic bank of credits and uh, there are over 45000 affiliated colleges in our country and gated autonomy academic administrative and financial autonomy will be given to colleges on the basis of status of their accreditation and these all about higher education and there is only single regulator for all higher education entire higher education and there that will be higher education commission of india will be set up as a single overlaunching umbrella body for the entire higher education and uh, uh, hecai to have four independent verticals uh, four independent verticals these are uh, four independent verticals who will control total higher education standards regulations accreditation and funds and uh, other key areas of fo focus professional education adult education and lifelong learning promotion of indian language and arts and culture technology use and integration online and digital education ensuring equitable use of technology and uh, teacher education is also included in this uh, a uh, national curriculum framework for teacher education ncfte 2020 will be formulated by the nct in consultation with ncert and uh, other key areas national research foundation yes nrf is to as uh, is also to be dis, uh, will be established for research and in nutshell Uh, this is all about higher education higher education institutions will be transformed into large multidisciplinary universities colleges and uh, higher education institutions cluster knowledge hubs rationalize institutional architecture or higher education and undergraduate undergraduate degree either three or four year duration multiple exit entry options four year multidisciplinary bachelor's program preferred options academic bank of credit shall be established multidisciplinary education research universities will be set up these are the different key factors of higher education uh, in nutshell if we see uh, new structure of school education 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 multidisciplinary and holistic education nrf national research foundation it is conceptual formative assessment multiple entry and exit options in graduation level technology integration four year integrated technical programs life skills critical thinking higher education uh, system hrd ministry as education ministry experiential learning these are all about national education policy 2020 so this is all about national education policy so thank you thank you very much